Hi everyone, welcome to Life in Yakutia channel. My name is Maria and today I want to tell you about how do we keep our cows in winter in Yakutia. My parents have a small farm and today I want to show you how do they feed water and how do they take care of their animals. It's not very cold today. Um, I think it's around 35 degrees. 32, 32 degrees Celsius. And it's actually not that cold. This winter it used to be like negative 55 negative 57 it was very it's actually very cold even for us and now it's it's sunny it's warm and yeah we are very happy and our animals also very happy that it got warmer so let's go and see These are our clothes for working outside. It's not for walking or going to the shop. It's only for the hoton, uh, the cow house. <laughs> I will check the English name later. <laughs> I want to show you the work that my parents do every day, no matter what temperature is outside, negative 57 or negative 30. This is a part of their daily routine. This is our hoton or cow shed. It was built in traditional way. My father built it with his brothers almost 30 years ago. The first thing that we are going to do today is that we need to water our animals. We let them go outside and walk a little bit before they go to drink water from the lake. Our animals drink water from the lake, which is near our house. It's located in 50 meters. The lake is frozen during winter. That's why my father needs to make a hole in the ice so animals can drink water from it. This is an ice hole that our animals drink water from. During a night, the hole freezes. That's why my father needs to make a hole again every day. The thickness of ice in the hole is around 10 cm. Our winters are long, more than 6 months a year. My father makes absolutely new hole once a month, because water in the hole gets dirty. Now my father hits the ice at the sides of the hole, because it freezes from the walls to the middle. Father is removing the crushed pieces of ice from the hole to make it easier for animals to drink water from it. The whole process of making a hole takes from 10 to 15 minutes. Cows know exactly where to go to drink water. We don't need to make them go or come back to the cow shed. They go drink water and come back to the cow shed by themselves. 
During the coldest days our cows wear a special warm bra for the udder to protect it from freezing. At this moment my camera started to work not really well, that's why I needed to stop and continue on the other day. While cows are drinking water, my father cleans the cow shed from manure. He takes it out. Manure is a very good natural fertilizer. Father makes piles of manure and leave it to freeze. In spring, before tillage, he will give this manure to people who don't have cows, but who plant vegetables. It's very important to fertilize soil before you plant anything. And the last thing to do is to give hay to the animals. Our cows need hay for 9 months a year. It means that during our short summers we need to harvest much grass. Harvesting is probably our the most important work during a year. My parents give hay to the cows 3 times a day, in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. Now my father is preparing the hay for the dinner of the cows. The hay of my father has a very good smell and its quality is very high. I know it because our milk is very delicious. The grass grows at special type of field alas. This kind of field exists only in Yakutia. It's formed by repeated melting and refreezing of permafrost. That's it for today. Thanks to all of these wonderful people that support me on PayPal and of course to my dear patrons. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Yeah.